Hey guys, so happy FOMC day. It is June 15th, and I know, I know, I have not been posting at all lately. Um, I apologize. What I have been doing is running a daily Zoom call with my group. Um, so when I've been doing that, um, I haven't been able to actually take pictures or do other things um, or videos. And I've kind of been slacking, so I apologize. But I am a back because what I'm thinking about doing is kind of something like this, where I just show you the PNL every day running. Um, I might even just go on YouTube Live and do it that way. But today I decided to actually record. Um, with my OBS and um, go from there. So, um, yeah. So this is a strategy that is actually pretty new, but I like it. It takes profit quickly. Obviously, it has the potential to have a bigger loss but I'm going to, I'm talking to my developer about that to um, possibly have it change. So you can see right there, target hit, um, and the balance was updated. And now it's in another trade. So I won't tell you if it's in a long or short. I wonder if I can get that updated here. Like right now we're in a long, but um, it will honestly just show you every time it's in a trade. And this runs from 9 to 1. So it's 10.50 right now. So still a bit of time to go. Um, but it's been 100% this morning, probably because it gives a big, kind of like a big pullback here. And what I've noticed on a lot of the opening trades is it pulls back before it runs. So I think I could make it a limit order. Um, and benefit from that and then be hitting target even sooner because with a limit order you're just placed in a better position. So so we will see. So I'm going to let this run for a little bit and then I'll post it. And I hope you guys are having a great day. It is FOMC so please be careful out there. I pretty much told my whole group to not be trading today. Uh, most people are just sitting on the sidelines. So Powell is speaking at two o'clock. All right, guys, talk in a little bit. So you can see there I had a loss for $250. Let me check something. All right. I got to pull this up. I can't see the bottom of this. It's so weird. All right, so no new trade yet. So I had the loss for $250. That's a normal size loss, so I'm not going to be upset about that, but I think I can do something to improve that. See how it's just red, like even this one, so that went right to target, but do you see how that was red like $15? So it's like three ticks. So even if I do a limit order of like three or four ticks, that helps. 
especially if I end up changing the code to have it exit um, in a different position instead of using the stop loss, then um, that would be even more beneficial in that case because the stop loss value, because if even if you have a, excuse me, a limit order, it would be easier to hit target, but it would still be the same amount to hit the stop loss. Therefore, if I change the way my stop loss works, then it would benefit, it wouldn't be like there would still be a hard stop, but um, with a limit order, then my stop loss would be smaller in most cases. So even there, it was red, $50. <clears throat> so I could be getting a much better entry on these trades. And this is what I like to do with my algorithms. Like I don't just like find something, say, oh, it's perfect. Like I always try to make improvements and find ways to make it better. So see that negative 50 would have already been target if I had a limit order because look, it went green, now it's green $25, $35. And so it did hit target eventually um, and it was pretty quick. But the point being, if I'm using a limit order, it's getting a better entry, it gets to that target faster and I'm out of the trade and then, you know, less risk on me. So that's what I like. All right, so I'm gonna let this run a little bit longer. My high was from, and this was from 1020, so it hasn't even been an hour. This was 1020 to 1050 was 100% and it was like $700. Now it had one loss. It's back up to 600 uh, or 545 here. This PL actually includes a trade that I had earlier before 1020. So that's why it says 545, but in my, because um, that's like the actual account PL, but on this strategy PL, it's green 600, so it's, it's $50 more. Um, so it was up to 700 and then it went to 550 and now it's back to 600 so um we will see if it gets another trade here all right you know if i had my higher time frame chart well it wouldn't even really matter actually at this point but yeah, so I will probably, like I'm always trying to make things better, so I'll probably, and also today's FOMC, so I have to kind of take today's results with a grain of salt. And I know I've mentioned that today was FOMC, but I don't like to base a lot of stuff around a day like today, because a lot of people are not trading, and um, the market's just going to be a lot different than it is on most other days, so... So it's 11 o'clock, London market's going to close in a half an hour, and um, yeah, maybe we'll wrap it up here for today, kind of see what you guys think of this, and give me some feedback, and we'll go from there. Alright guys, have a good day, stay safe with FOMC, bye.